What's up guys? Happy Saturday. I don't know why, but last night I wanted to play Black Ops Zombies, uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies. And right now I'm on, let's see, level, level 12 down here. And uh, I've got a crawler, so I got some time. But oh man, Black Ops 2 Zombies was just the best. Oh my gosh. Uh, right now I got a Let's see, what gun do I have? I have a Pack-a-Punch Mustang and Sally right here, the two pistols. Uh, if you Pack-a-Punch those at the beginning, uh, they turn into these awesome guns. And then I've got, here, actually, let me just pause it. But uh, And then I got a, not the hammer, but another gun, like a huge machine gun. And I Pack-a-Punch it already, which means uh, you just, it increases its power and has more ammo but oh man love this this is uh this is the map town and uh it has pack a punch on it which is awesome but uh grandparents are gone right now i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do today i mean i don't really have much to do today i already fixed the bike packing's pretty good i mean it might just be a bum around day Ate my biscuit this morning. Ah, oh, we need to go get milk, but I mean, y'all have seen that enough. Y'all don't really need to see me go get milk again. So I don't know what the Brangle day, the day will bring. <laughs> uh, so you will be as surprised as me. What's up guys so i'm just out here on the on the roof well outside my window but uh just getting some fresh air it's really nice out and uh i've been looking through the comments for my post about the q a so i'm doing a second q a if y'all aren't aware and uh, i've gotten some really good questions and i'm excited to answer them i've been going through them to make sure that i have good proper answers like that i thought through because I, I i think in the last video I kind of just did it off the top of my head, and I said if I ever did another one, hold on, there are cars going by. If I ever did another one, that I would be more prepared. Hold on. Oh, wait, one more, maybe. All right, there we go. That I would be more prepared. So I have been doing that, prepping, and I think I got some good answers for your questions. Uh, but I also wanted to come out here, and uh, last time it was raining. and uh, so all that water coming down and I wanted to see what the aftermath was of, so there was so much in, so many cars. Uh, so there was so much water coming down and there was so much uh, stuff in the valley that I wanted to see like the cool little trenches that it, that it made. So let's go over and look. <laughs> so the water was coming down from here, coming all the way down and then went through all this stuff. And I just think that's pretty cool how it moved everything, made a little dam over there. So uh, I'll actually, I'll clean this all out before I leave. So grandpa won't have to worry about it and everything will be cleaned out, you know? Uh, Cause you know, grandpa doesn't get out of here. He's not gonna come up on the roof. That's, that's my job. So if I can help in any way I can, I will. Uh, but I think that's about it for now. We are heading off to Nana and Pop-Ops for dinner here in about uh, 20 minutes. We got dinner at six, so that'll be fun. And I guess next time y'all see me, I'll be getting in the car. Okay, just about to head out. And I wanted to check the tire real quick. Oh yeah, yes, it's holding air, perfect. And then the back one, yep, that one is too. Perfect, nice. Oh, darn it. 
gotta close the garage. Yep. There we go. Okie dokes, let's set off. On the way to Nana and Pop Pops for dinner, and I just wanna talk about to y'all about uh, the Aurora Borealis that apparently was in North Carolina last night. I'm sure it was all over the United States, you know, because it's really big, but uh, Aurora Borealis aren't usually this far down south, and I'm so bummed that I missed it. Apparently the best time to see it was from like 2 to 5 a.m., which I was up for. Um, I, I just didn't even know about it. I was so bummed. Uh, I just didn't, I didn't get to sleep last night until probably like 2.30. I just couldn't go to sleep. And uh, if I would have known, I could have seen it, but uh, like at its peak. But if I saw it correctly, I think it was more on the horizon instead of like straight up. So I wouldn't have been able to see it real well anyways. But still, uh, if y'all did get a chance to see it and it was in your area, I know there are people all over the world that watch this. Uh, I hope y'all saw it, or I hope y'all have seen one before, because that's actually one of my bucket list uh, things to do. I want to see the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis is another name for it. But man, that was that would have been so cool. But uh, here are some, actually, you know what, I'll just put them up in front of my face. Uh, here are some pictures from some of the Instagram posts of my friends that saw them last night. So I did get to see them through the post, just not in person. So. I'll get what I can take. So uh, let's head to Nana's and let's await for an amazing meal. Over at Nana Pop Pops and uh, Pop has spent all day patching up a driveway. And here it is right here. Look at that. He did a great job. He said it took eight bags. Wow, that's a great job. Better than the city can do it. <laughs> Is that Finley? Hey Finley. Hey, I know. Hey. Hey Finley, I know. <laughs> what is it? Huh? Okay, so I'm upstairs and I just want to show you my Nana's um uh watch that she got fixed. So here it is. This is what it looks like. Uh dad got the pink bands for her on Mother's Day last year or two years ago or for her birthday or whenever, but uh, it's all nice and fixed now, so perfect. Pop also planted some nice tomato plants today. Looking good, nice and beautiful. One of their favorite meals is bacon and tomato sandwiches, so that's where they get the nice fresh tomatoes from. You see the uh... Okay, those guys, I'm back at home, and uh, Nana gave me a whole bunch of food. It was all the leftovers that y'all saw, so nothing new, but I didn't show the dessert, okay? I'm not sure if y'all have ever seen Chocolate Death, but uh, this is what it is, and it is heavenly. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could devour this in a sitting. It is so good. It's like, like uh, chocolate cake with chocolate pudding with whipped cream, with Heath bar on the top, and Oreos. So, uh, yeah, it's delicious. And it's, I would say it's one of her signature dishes. So delicious. But uh, other than that, uh, we don't have to get milk either because I got some, got some milk down there. Sweet. She always gets me milk because I like to drink whole milk and they like to drink skim milk. I'm fine with drinking any milk. She doesn't have to do that, but she does. So that was nice. And... She gave me uh, $40 for the trip down to, uh, or I guess up to Wisconsin. So perfect. That's basically a take of gas. Ah, yes. And uh, that is all for tonight. All right, guys. I am putting on my roof shoes because it has cleared up outside. And I want to go, go on the roof and see if the Aurora Borealises are still up there. Uh, it was a very low chance, I believe, tonight. But I still want to see it because that, as I mentioned before, that's one of my bucket list, list items. And I really want to see it. I want to see it so bad. So we are going to go up on the roof, look at the horizon, and just hope that maybe we'll see a glimpse of one. I'll, I, might, I don't know how long I'll stay up there. It's not going to be too long. 
but I definitely want to have the chance. So let's get these shoes on real quick and we'll head on up. There we go. All strapped up. As you can see, let's set up. Okay, guys, I know you can't see anything. It is just a black screen, but I'm up here on the roof and I don't see any beautiful lights in the sky, but uh, it is a very clear night, so I can see all the stars, uh, which is funny because about, uh, let's see, uh, I guess it was an hour to two hours ago, it was drizzling. So the fact that all of the clouds are gone, like I don't see any, is amazing. So I'm going to see if I can get a good picture for y'all. So I guess that's what y'all will have been looking at instead of a black screen. So uh, there you go. Hope it's good. Yeah, I hope it's a good picture. Well, that's a bummer we couldn't see the lights, but uh, I'm glad I tried. And uh, that picture that I showed y'all, that was, I think it was a 30 second exposure straight up into the sky. And then I uh, I did some stuff in the settings or like guess editing the video. Uh, that's why it has that blue in the middle because I turned the brightness all the way down. So that those that is a real picture of all the stars straight up on uh, uh iphone 14 pro max um i think that's it for today uh tomorrow is going to be a busy day for sure i am going to well you know what i'll just uh i'll keep it a secret <laughs> see you tomorrow guys